Yes. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here with Olympic gold medal winner Lori Hernandez. Now she is going to teach us, me, myself, Jen, and Brody how to do some gymnastic moves. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but before we get to all that, I have to ask you, you won Dancing with the Stars, and of course you won a gold medal at the Olympics. Which was better? <laughs> oh, I can't pick. I think, well, they're both very different. That's of why course. it's so hard. So gymnastics, it's like I train for such a long time and I train kind of like the same things over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to the point where, okay, I have one more routine, can I hit it? So yeah. it's a lot of pressure in that sense, but it's so like relieving to be able to get to the Olympics. Whereas sure. Dancing with the Stars, one thing changes after another. It's in a short period of time, but we still got through it, even oh, though totally. it was super stressful. So I love both. Where do you keep your mirror ball trophy and your uh, medals? So the mirror ball <laughs> is kind of like in the middle of the living room, okay. I guess. <laughs> My mom did that. <laughs> and uh, the medals are actually in a safe Oh, right that's, now. that's smart. Thanks. Are you training for the 2020 Olympics? I mean, I've been taking a little break, but soon, soon. I'll be coming back. Um, also, I have like one year of high school left. I'm looking into college. So a lot of cool things. A lot of great up. things coming up. That's yeah. awesome. Well, speaking of great things, you're going to teach us some, <laughs> some beginner tips for gymnastics, right? Okay. So what are what what do we need to learn? What's the essential move? Okay. So I guess the one thing I'm going to teach you guys is how to finish properly because that's really important. Mm -hmm. Your finish is everything. When the judges watch your routine, the the cherry on top is the way that you finish. So you have to start by doing I like to teach with fours because sometimes gymnast hands are kind of difficult. So you do the Little, or number four, Spirit. almost a little four. Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers, yeah. So four, <laughs> and then you can put your fingers all the way back like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Oh. Okay. Oh. There that's you good. Go. And then make sure that your feet are together, because oh. if they're not together, oh. that's a disaster. That's, oh, that's right. So okay, ready? Like, so you, like, you got to stick like this, bent knees, because you're feeling on straight legs. That would hurt. Do you straighten them out at the end? And then at the end, okay. straighten them. And then chin up oh, as if way. it was the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> Oh, okay. And the chin is important. The chin is important because if okay. you finish down, then you don't look confident and they are going to say, well, she wasn't confident in what she did. Why should we be confident in what she did? That's so true. I feel like we need to get like a little jump in there. Okay, ready? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little jump, right? One, you know? two, jump. Jump. And finish on your fours. Yes, and oh, chin no, up. <laughs>